Hey everyone, it's Joanne Molinaro, the Korean vegan, and I know what you're thinking. Hey, I've already seen this video before. So the last time I posted this video, instead of posting a recipe tutorial, what I did was I shared a story while showing you how I made this. But this time, I am going to take you through the recipe. We're going to start with making the sauce because it's the easiest, right? You're going to add a tablespoon and a half of gochujang. And this happens to be my favorite brand, Chanjang One. And we're also going to add a tablespoon of rice vinegar. And you can find rice vinegar just about anywhere. We're also going to add a tablespoon of sugar. If you don't want to use sugar, you could also use maple syrup, agave, whatever kind of sweetener you want. And I'm adding one tablespoon of soy sauce. Just gonna mix that all up and then we're gonna set that aside for later use. Do give it a taste if you can. Make sure that it's sweet enough for your preference. Now we are going to saute our kimchi and I'm gonna start with about a tablespoon of sesame oil over medium high heat. And we're gonna add about a cup and a half of overripe kimchi. So this is not the kimchi that you use right after you buy it at the store. This is the kimchi that's been sitting in your fridge for at least a week. And the reason for that is if you try to use kind of not yet ripe kimchi or just ripe kimchi, it's not gonna caramelize the way that you want it to. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of that sauce. I'm using about a tablespoon and a half of that sauce to kind of help bring out the sweetness in our kimchi. I'm gonna spoon that into a bowl and I'm gonna set that aside. And in the same pan, I'm gonna cook up a cup and a half of ground sausage. I use field roast, which is my favorite vegan ground sausage. And I'm also gonna use one half of a cup of carrot that is very, very small diced, as you can see. And we're just gonna cook that up until the ground sausage starts to brown and we're gonna set that aside. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil here and we're going to cook up our spinach. I originally said four cups of spinach, but I ended up not using half the spinach, so I changed it to two cups of spinach. We're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper as well to that. And we're just gonna cook it up until it gets nice and wilted down, as you can see. It's amazing how four cups of spinach turns into one cup of cooked spinach. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna mix up our crepe batter. And really all that is, is a tablespoon of potato starch plus one cup of liquid egg replacer. As you can see, I prefer just egg as my liquid egg replacer. And we're going to add a little bit of oil to our nonstick pan. And we're gonna pour that crepe batter into our nonstick pan. And hopefully you do a much better job of mixing that than I did because I got lots of clumps of potato starch. You're gonna wanna use a whisk as opposed to chopsticks in order to avoid the clumpiness that you see in my video. And you're just gonna cook it and if you can flip it, that's great. If you can't, just use a spatula and you get this lovely kind of crepe action going that you're gonna use to create a roll later on. So when it's done cooking, I'm gonna set that aside. And now I am adding two cups of cooked rice. I'm using hipban, which is you know the Korean for instant rice, microwavable rice. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of sesame oil and I'm just gonna mix that all together. And then I'm going to add the uh, ground sausage and carrot mixture that we sauteed earlier. And we're also gonna add the kimchi that I sauteed earlier. I'm gonna reserve a little bit of that for later. And then I'm adding three tablespoons of chopped garlic chives. If you don't have garlic chives, you can also just use scallions. Look at how gorgeous that looks. I mean, you could eat that right out of the bowl, right there. I mean, that just looks delicious, doesn't it? And this is why they call it chumokbap. Chumok means fist in Korean and pap means rice. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna create larger than golf balls, smaller than tennis balls with your hands. I'm dipping some of them into kind of my mixture of roasted nori and sesame seeds. But otherwise, I'm also creating just plain balls. 
uh, to add to our toshidak, which is lunchbox in Korean. I'm going to take my gloves off. If you're brave, you can do this barehanded. I was not that brave. And we're going to go back to our crepe that we made with our egg mixture. And we're going to add the rest of our rice there. And we're going to add the spinach. I added just a little bit of salt as well to season it. You can also add some cracked black pepper. And then we're just going to roll it up like a fruit roll up. You know, I'm dating myself there by referencing the fruit roll up snack, but that's basically what we're going to do. And I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit. Grab some of the leftover rice on my cutting board. I'm going to add a third cup of cooked white rice along with a teaspoon of sesame oil to this. And we're going to mix that up, add a little bit of salt and cracked black pepper to season the rice. And then I'm going to take about three quarters of it or maybe half of it and I'm going to create sort of a patty and then I'm going to take the sauteed kimchi that I had reserved and sort of put that in the center of the patty and then use the rest of the rice to cover it up. And then I am going to create a big ball of rice. And the idea here is to create sort of a stuffed ball of rice, stuffed with that delicious caramelized kimchi saute that we created earlier. I'm gonna kind of press that gently into a nonstick pan that I've oiled with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. The idea here is to be very, very gentle because you don't want it to fall apart. You can sort of see that it's wanting to fall apart there and I have to kind of push it all back together. And we get this lovely hockey puck of rice stuffed with the kimchi. Finally, last but not least, we want to slice up that crepe egg roll rice thingy. And it just looks so beautiful. Look at that bright yellow color that you get with the gorgeous coloring of the rice. We're going to put our fist rice in our toshidak or lunchbox together with those egg roll thingies as well as our hockey puck rice patty. I'm going to add a little bit of that sauce from the beginning along with some of that leftover nori mix. And there you go. There's our toshidak. You're going to want to eat all of this by yourself. I wanted to eat it all by myself, but I had to share it with my husband. So delicious. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't watched it yet, go ahead and check out my story time video with the same recipe. If you did like this video, make sure you hit that like button and please subscribe so that you don't miss out on future Korean vegan videos. Have a lovely day.